Hey friends, welcome back to my kitchen. I am revisiting some older recipes that I haven't made in a while um, that I just want to make again. These ones that I'm gonna be doing today are fluffy coconut milk buns. And even though they are made with some coconut milk powder, there's not a real strong coconut taste. So these work great for um, like sandwiches and savory things. It doesn't have to be like a sweet thing. If you do want to enhance the coconut flavor, you can add some coconut extract, but the amount of coconut milk powder in there, it's just very, very minimal. These do happen to be dairy free and they're super fluffy and really delicious. So I'm excited to make these again. It's probably been, I don't know, six months at least since I've made them. But before we get going into the recipe, I wanted to chat a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. Armor Colostrum is sponsoring the video today. I've been taking Armor Colostrum for quite a few months now and I have loved the results I've seen in my hair and my skin and also my immune strengthening. If you've never heard of Colostrum, it is a dairy-based bioactive whole food that is produced by all mammals in the first 48 to 72 hours after birth. It's filled with over 400 functional nutrients like peptides, antibodies, and antioxidants that support your cells, gut, and immune system. Armra upcycles the leftover colostrum from cows and uses a low heat processing that helps keep as many nutrients intact as possible. Since this is a whole food, you can really take as much as you like. I'm currently taking three to four scoops per day and usually I just scoop them straight into my mouth. It actually tastes really good and is great for the oral microbiome, so that's a bonus. Bonus, but you can also mix it into any cold drinks or yogurt or smoothies or anything like that. Just make sure you don't put it into anything hot because that could denature the proteins. Arma has a special offer for my audience. You can get 15% off your first order uh, just by using my link, tryarma.com slash indigo, and then putting my code in at checkout. The code is indigo. So once again, that's tryarmra.com slash indigo, T-R-Y-A-R-M-R-A.com slash indigo. Thanks so much to Armor Colostrum for sponsoring the video today. And now let's get going with this recipe. First thing I'm gonna do is add one and a quarter cups of slightly warm water to my bowl. And then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of inulin. You can use honey for this. And this stuff is actually even optional. You can just stick with water and skip the inulin or honey and the yeast that I'm gonna do. Um, it's just for flavor, so if you wanna skip it, you can. I just, I think it enhances the flavor a little bit. So I'm gonna just let the inulin dissolve in here. And then I'm going to add my one teaspoon of active dry yeast and I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top of the water and just let it bloom for a minute. And that's just gonna enhance the flavor a little bit. All right, yeast is bloomed and now I'm gonna add in my egg white powder. I'm gonna do 100 grams. Next is a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. and half a teaspoon of salt. I always use Redmond Real Salt. One tablespoon of gelatin, and that is equal to about 10 grams. And two tablespoons of allulose, and that is equal to about 18 grams. This is another optional ingredient. It is just a tablespoon of arrowroot powder, and um, it does add a few carbs, but it's very minimal. I enjoy the texture and the flavor that it gives, so I add it, but you can totally leave it out if you want to. And one tablespoon is about eight grams. I'm gonna give this a quick stir, and I'm gonna take it over to the KitchenAid in a second, but before I do that, I want to get my other ingredients ready that I'm gonna be adding in after this is whipped up. Okay, that's ready to go. So to my little bowl here, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of acacia fiber, and that is equal to about 18 grams. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do six grams, or about one tablespoon of the coconut milk powder. And it's amazing how much of an effect this tiny amount of coconut milk powder has on the bread. I experimented with different amounts and this six grams just makes all the difference. It's amazing. All right, so that is all ready to throw in um, as soon as this is whipped up. Before I start the KitchenAid, I am going to preheat my oven to 325. 
Also, I wanted to show you the pan I'm using. I like these silicone bun pans. Um, it gives a real nice texture to the bottom of the buns and then, you know, keeps them in their, their place. Um, but you can, you know, just put it, put the batter onto a pan. I recommend probably spraying the pan or uh, parchment paper or something like that to keep it from sticking or maybe a silicone sheet. I'm also going to spray my pan with avocado oil spray. Um, I go back and forth whether this is necessary or not, but it just puts my mind at ease because um, when stuff sticks to the, these, it's not fun to clean. Um, it's not terrible. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's not fun to clean. I'm also going to be using my ice cream scoop to scoop the batter. It just makes it cleaner and easier, but again, not necessary. You can just scoop it with a spoon. I'm going to start the mixer out on low and uh, gradually increase the speed to high to avoid splattering. And then I will whip it for probably like five to seven minutes um, until I get like a nice shaving cream type consistency. All right, that is looking pretty thick. And now I am gonna add in my other two ingredients here, the acacia fiber and the coconut milk powder. And I'm just gonna mix it up until it's incorporated. I'm not gonna whip it at this point. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir with the spatula to make sure I got everything incorporated. And now I'm just gonna, oops. Now I'm just gonna scoop this out by scoop falls into my pan. All right, my oven is preheated. I'm gonna throw these in for 25 minutes. Look at how good these look. They got nicely brown on top. Got a little bit of crisp to them. They're super soft inside. All right, I'm gonna let these cool um, for probably like 10 minutes and then I'll take them um, off of the pan and then I'll let them cool all the way. All right, let me just show you what the inside texture of these looks like. They're so soft and fluffy. I don't find them to be styrofoam texture at all. They're, they're super soft. They kind of melt in your mouth. They're absolutely delicious. It's been so long since I've had one. I need to taste it. The coconut flavor is hardly detectable. Um, it just tastes like a really soft white bread perfect for like cold cut sandwiches or something like that it'd also be really good for like a peanut butter and if you have like a keto jam peanut butter and jelly sandwich that would be delicious the other thing that these are amazing for is dipping into soups one thing that i really missed when i went keto was bread to dip into soups because there's a lot of great soups on keto but it's hard to find a good bread for dipping and these are perfect I love it because you can have like a really hearty soup that has, you know, lots of fat in it and stuff. And then you have this nice light bread because a lot of keto breads can be very heavy with a lot of eggs or a lot of fat. And these are very, very light. It adds a bump of protein to your meal. So it's more satiating oftentimes. And it's just the perfect companion to like a nice thick soup or stew. So thanks for hanging out in the kitchen and baking with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one.